Hello everyone, this is Russell Lowe speaking. Uh, today I'm going to show you a quick uh, Sony Vegas uh, tutorial uh, where I'm going to cover creating a um, clip in um, uh, or capturing some video in Sandbox 2 and then bringing it across to um, uh, Sony Vegas and adding some other film to it, adding some stills and some uh, uh, titles and uh, maybe cutting it up a bit. Uh, so this is the scene that I uh, had in um, Sandbox 2 and I tried creating a video uh, using Fraps and uh, Cam Studio uh, at the same time and my computer did not like that at all so I created a um, video on Fraps just by um, uh, recording the scene and then uh, brought it uh, or saved it into a file that was available for uh, Sony Vegas. Uh, so this is Sony Vegas. Um, you can see there's a uh, window up here that we we put all your tracks, your text, and your video and, and soundtracks and things like this. Um, this is a little preview screen. This is your Explorer. So what we'll do is this is my D drive. I go into Russell Lowe uh, courses 2011, BNV tutorials, Vegas demo. Now Vegas uh, links all of the videos. Um, to this uh, to this Vegas um, file so if you shift these videos uh, then uh, Vegas won't be able to find them and it'll say media offline or missing uh, and would you like to try and find it um, so the idea is I think to create a folder for your project at the beginning put all of the videos and stuff that you'll need into that folder and then um, uh, make sure that uh, your Vegas file is saved in here as well and then you've got one sort of complete package. Alright so the first thing I'm going to do is um, throw the uh, video that I captured uh, into the um, into the scene and uh, so just by dragging and dropping it in there I'm clicking in the scene and using the mouse wheel to roll in and out and then I'm going to grab the left click and grab this uh, slider and you can see what I'm doing is scrolling through the video that I caught just before. Now you can also see that there's uh, bars, um, there's sort of letterboxing going on. Uh, so we can, we've got two options. We can change the size of the video to match the size of our project, uh, which is down here, or we can change the size of the projects to make the, match the native size of the video. Uh, so I'll do both um, just very quickly. Uh, I'll do set the project size up first. So I'm going to right click on our video and see what size it is. Um, here we go, 1040 by 580. Hmm. It's a good size, 1040 by 580. Okay, so file, properties, um, 1040 by what was it? 580. Uh, and let's put it on PAL. We can do, change this to none and this to square. And if I remember that right, uh, the letterboxing will disappear. Yeah, okay. So it must have been 1040 by 580. Good. Uh, close that. So now our project is set up to match that video uh, exactly, which is where Vegas is most happy. Um, I'll throw this piece of video in next, so this is just a MOV and you can see it's quite a bit bigger and you can see it's letterboxing at the side. Uh, so what I'll do is, once again I'm clicking and using the mouse wheel to, um, to zoom in and out, I'll click on the event uh, crop and pan uh, tool and then it says maintain aspect ratio. So what I'm going to do is go, and it's on yes at the moment, so I'm going to go no, and it's going to stretch it to that, um, uh, fill the frame. So close that. So now that video is, uh, has been stretched. So it's, it's not going to be um, so happy about being stretched. Um, but it's better than nothing. At least it doesn't have the letterboxing. Uh, so I'm moving the time slider around, and if I hit the S key, that's the slice key, and it just slices the video. Uh, so I can go through and delete, select and delete certain parts. I might uh, just do random slices. 
through here and I'm going to select and hold down control uh, to select multiples and delete all those and I'm going to drag these together. Now you see this one's sort of not moving or none of them are moving when I sort of drag these parts of the clips around. This button here, Auto Ripple, is really useful. Uh, control L is the uh, hotkey. So if I hit Auto Ripple and click this one, notice how all the other ones move around with it. And then this one, everything to the right moves with it. So you can see that's a nice way to bring everything together um, rather than having to shift everything one at a time. Especially if we now grab that one and we want to put that one in there first. Okay, so um, grabbing the scrubbing uh, through the whole thing, you can see this is what happens if I hit play. That's a pretty harsh transition, right? Um, sometimes pretty useful. If we want to do a um, smoother transition, we can just grab this um, piece of video and just make it go across the other one and you can see it's crossfading. So if we play that again you'll see one image come through the other one and the sound actually crossfades as well as you can see from the soundtrack. Okay so what's left? Um, Let's put some text in there. So uh, let's go to the Media Generator tab and go uh, Text and whack a solid text background in there. And you see it automatically opens up to tell me what text I want to use. Uh, I shall say Vegas Demo. And you can see we're not seeing it here because the time slider is not in that part. But as soon as we mouse over that part of the clip, We'll be able to see it. Let's see if I can put this in the middle. Uh, let's see the placement. You can see uh, to the right here it's actually moving around where it's going to sort of be. You can see it moving up here as well. Uh, lovely. Close that. What I do is select that and uh, go Control C and Control V and that will paste it and I'm going to create a new copy because I'm going to change this one. So it says that's all low. Shove that over there like that. And now you can see it goes Vegas demo fading into I guess by Russell Lowe. Lovely. And then if I zoom into the end of it here, I can grab this uh, I can grab the end of these and move them along to make them shorter or longer. Uh, but also if you grab this top little um, triangle you can pull it in and you can create your own fade offsets. As you see I'm going backwards and forwards. Now I'll pull this one into here and then I'll do the same but backwards for that one. And you can see what's going to happen, it's going to fade down to black background and fade up into this out of the black into uh, into this first clip. So fading out and fading into the first clip. And away it goes with a harsh cross on this one and then a smooth one on this one, a harsh one on this one. Let's quickly recap by s selecting that track, hitting the S key, selecting it here, hitting that one and then because Auto Ripple's turned on, if I delete this it'll all jump across and then Let's cut the center out of this as well. And once again, I'll turn off Auto Ripple. And then when I delete this, you see it's not coming across. Hit the Auto Ripple again, and it'll drag everything back across with it. Um, all right. Select your text again. Control C, Control V. Go yes to that. If I drag it into this line and then drag it over that you'll see it'll automatically crossfade. Lovely. And one last one to say the end. Absolutely mandatory in every 
every video. You can see that this video is 1 minute 21 seconds long. Um, shouldn't take too long to render. Uh, so now I'll go File, Render As. And then I save things as um, Quick Times most of the time. And then uh, quickly navigate to my folder that I'm working in. Call this Vegas demo. Uh, default uncompressed would be a problem. Um, so let's go into this custom one. I'll say good video. Uh, the size of the video is fine, frame rate 25 is fine. This video format, I have the most luck with uh, game based video with Sorensen Video 3, but you can mess around with those ones. Uh, quality 50% is fine. Audio, I don't know what I'm doing with audio, so I just choose the. Choose whatever. <laughs> I'm honestly no idea there, so um, probably. Uh, have a crack at that. I'm going to call this Vegas demo for a template and save it so that it'll save all that stuff. This is just my details. I could have put all that stuff in there so I'd know. Go OK and then uh, go save. Hopefully Cam Studio and rendering Vegas out at the same time is not going to give me any grief. To be honest I'm hoping this actually uh, that Cam Studio works because we've been going for a few minutes now. Clearly I'm just wasting time uh, chatting with you while this stuff is actually rendering. You can see it rendering uh, through. You can see we're up to frame 529, wherever that is. Well, let's, let's call it 28%. I'm going to cut all this out uh, of this video. Strangely enough, I'll uh, render it out and then put it back into um, Sony Vegas, cut it out and render it out again probably. Very postmodern. Should just okay I'm back uh, I figured out how to pause cam studio so hopefully that didn't uh, drag on too long um, all we have to show you now is the end result which is uh, this little puppy here uh, you can see uh, I'll let me scrub through this so it fades from one to the other it fades in and out uh, or out and in of those Here's our footage from uh, Captured and Fraps. Here's some video footage I've captured from Fraps uh, previously. Uh, mixed together. Oh, the one thing I didn't show you, which I will uh, very quickly, is going back to our uh, Explorer, uh, some stills. So here's a uh, here's a still dragged in and I'm going to click and drag it for width and show you that oh, sorry show you that it fades from there and then it has a still that sort of sits there now that was a TGA file and uh, this one is a, a JPEG oh, sorry I keep hitting the wrong uh, play button So it might be useful in some regard to whack stills into your uh, video as well. Um, the last thing I'll show you just very quickly is that you can see that when I put a still in it comes in at a set length. Uh, if I go into tools, no options, uh, preferences, uh, editing, uh, you can see that the still image length is 5 seconds. So we can change that to um, one eighth of a second and have a video running at um, eight frames a second um, or one tenth of a second and have a frame uh, have a video running at uh, 
uh, 10 frames a second. A little jerky, but um, uh, kind of useful if you want to render out a whole bunch of animation as single stills and then put them back together in, in uh, Vegas. Okay, hopefully uh, that wasn't jumping around too much and you made some sense out of it. Uh, have a go. Cheers.